Welcome to London! I am Travel Tom Tom and in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know for staying connected when you travel to the United Kingdom. In this guide you will find out where to buy a SIM card for traveling to the United Kingdom. I will tell you everything about the best 4G, 5G network. I will compare the prices obviously of the prepaid SIM cards that are available. I'll tell you very important guys about EU roaming so if you're traveling onwards in Europe can you use uh, your UK SIM card or can you not use it? I will of course talk about the best e-SIM cards for traveling to the United Kingdom and I come up with a conclusion and my recommendation at the end of the video. Let me introduce to you the mobile internet providers here in the UK. There is three mobile. We have O2, there is Vodafone and there is EE Mobile. Let me start with where is the best place to buy a SIM card for the UK. I would think that as soon as you arrive on the international airport, uh, like a London airport, Manchester, Liverpool, it would be easy to buy a prepaid SIM card for the UK on arrival. And well, it's very much possible. So if you go to my channel or to the link in the description, there's also a video and there are articles about buying buying a prepaid SIM card at London Airport, at London Gatwick Airport, at Manchester Airport. However, prices for prepaid SIM cards at the airport are much more expensive than you get here in the city. Because all the retail uh, shops from the mobile internet providers like Vodafone O2, EE and 3, they all sell prepaid SIM cards for tourists in their retail shops as well. However, the fastest, the easiest and even the cheapest way to stay connected when you travel to the United Kingdom is buying a SIM card for the UK on the internet. Uh, whether that is buying an e-SIM card for the UK or an international prepaid SIM card, you can do it all online, right here, right now, basically. And it just takes you a couple minutes and you don't waste time uh, buying a SIM card on arrival here in the UK. But more about that later, let me first give you a comparison of the prices of the prepaid SIM cards that you can get here in the United Kingdom. At the tree store they have prepaid SIM cards for tourists and they start from 10 pounds which is about 12 and a half US dollar and you get 10 gigabytes and for 15 pounds you already get 50 gigabyte of data and there's also a prepaid SIM card for the UK with unlimited data for 35 pounds all the three UK prepaid SIM cards allow you a data roaming in the EU so it is limited though so 12 gigabyte free uh, EU data roaming is included in the SIM card packages. Yeah, only if you have the 10 gigabyte, it's only uh, 10 gigabyte, of course. If you're looking for an e SIM card for the UK and you want to order one from free, they don't allow prepaid users uh, to have e SIM cards. So the e SIM cards from three, you can only order on the internet. At O2, they have four prepaid SIM cards for tourists here in the UK. It starts from £10, £15, £20 and £30. When we compare the £15 one, it gets you 20 gigabytes. But at three uh, mobile there, they give you for £15, 50 gigabytes. So it's a huge uh, difference. All prepaid SIM card packages are valid for one month and include unlimited calling and texting in the UK, uh, just as at the three mobile. However, here at O2, they allow a little bit more uh, data roaming compared to three packages. At Vodafone, the cheapest prepaid SIM card package for tourists costs 15 pounds and it gives you 30 gigabytes. Uh, unlimited data and texting in the EU is included. It's for 30 days as well. However, there is no free EU data roaming at all in a Vodafone prepaid SIM cards for the UK. And on top of that also, e-SIM cards are not given to prepaid customers. I checked the EE prepaid SIM card plans for two is for you. Uh, first of all, no EU data roaming at all included and also no e-SIM cards available. That makes it to the simple conclusion that Vodafone, 3 Mobile, EE and O2 all do not provide e-SIM cards for tourists when you come travel to the UK. Price-wise, they also have a prepaid SIM card plan for 15 pounds and it gives you 25 gigabyte and unlimited calling and texting in the UK for 30 days. So it's kind of similar as the other providers. Although at EE, they give you less gigabytes and guys, only 4G network available. So they don't give 5G network for prepaid SIM card customers. Basically, very simple conclusion. This for me already would be a reason, a no-go for EE SIM cards. 
After comparing the prepaid SIM card prices, let's also compare the 4G, 5G mobile network coverage of all the mobile internet providers here in the UK. Here are the 4G, 5G coverage map of all the operators and what we can clearly see is that there is a 4G signal everywhere around the UK. Uh, however, there's a difference in 5G network. So EE and 3 Mobile, they have the best 5G network in the UK and the 5G network of O2 and Vodafone is much smaller. However, remember that EE prepaid SIM cards do not allow you to use the 5G network for some reason. They only allow 4G network for the prepaid customers. So all in all, who is the best prepaid SIM card here in the UK? When we compare the prices, we actually saw that all the mobile network operators had a prepaid sim card package for 15 pounds and it was three that gave the most gigabytes they gave a hundred gigabytes for 15 pounds also three mobile had the cheapest prepaid sim card package and that was a 10 pounds don't forget that three mobile allows eu roaming on prepaid sim cards then on top of that three mobile has one of the best 4g 5g network coverage in the uk which makes it a simple conclusion that three mobile is the best prepaid sim card for traveling in the uk and now the topic that you've all been waiting for what about e-SIM cards for the UK? Well, e-SIM cards for the UK are available only on the internet. So where do you order those e-SIM cards? Well, there is Airalo, there is SIM options. These are very trusted uh, e-SIM card resellers for the UK. And for what you can see in the picture and what I also said in the beginning, it's actually the cheapest way to stay connected because there are already e-SIM cards for the UK from five US dollar only on top of that it's super easy you uh, order online you pay you get a qr code scan the qr code and literally within a couple clicks and uh, simple steps you are actually already connected so where to find all this info about e-sim cards for the uk well go to the link in the description and if you click on that you go to my guide my detailed guide with all up-to-date prices and information about buying a sim card here in the uk uh, also everything about e-sim cards uh, where you can order there's links to order them directly on the internet and then last but not least if your phone is not e-sim compatible yeah you can actually not buy an e-sim card for the uk and in that case you need to order an international prepaid sim card well in my guide there's also all the information about that because these international prepaid sim cards they will be delivered to your home address before your trip to the UK and you actually just put them in your phone and it's plug and play on arrival. The convenience of buying a SIM card for the UK on the internet is that you actually arrive prepared. So as soon as the plane lands, you are online. I'm sure that some of my tips for staying connected when you travel to the UK were helpful for your upcoming trip. Uh, I really hope that you're gonna have a good time and that you stay well connected here in the United Kingdom. Rest me one more thing, guys, and that is asking you to just go to the like button and please uh, like this video if it's even just for my effort uh, for showing you the best uh, SIM cards here in the UK. And then uh, last but not least, enjoy.